Atheists persist upon disbelief and then says, if only we can detect earthquakes before they occur. Part 1. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the bestower of mercy. Imam as sudi may Allah have mercy upon him, stated. The greatest evils of knowledge and its inconsistencies occurs as a result of acquainting oneself with the creation without its creator. Acquaintance with effects without the one who created those effects, acquaintance with causes without the one who created those causes and acquaintance with the paths without its sound goals. The deficiency in this type of acquaintance is numerous and its harm is great, because indeed many atheists and those deceived by them are skilled in the natural sciences. But they confine themselves to it and are blind regarding its association with its creator and causer. And with regards to that which is placed in these natural sciences of wonders and secrets. They see themselves as those who know the wonders of the natural sciences, which none knows besides them, and the secrets which Allah has placed in nature. So it gives them higher status over others, and thus they become afflicted with vanity and self-deception. They confine themselves to it, consider it as the final outcome, the purpose and the goal, and thus occurs great deviation, deficiency in knowledge and intellect. If they knew and affirmed belief in the true creator and the one who controls all the affairs of the universe the one who attached the means, and causes to his kata wal qadr, see footnote a. Know that the means and causes are an abode of his perfect wisdom, for indeed Allah, the Most High, is all-wise. He placed things in their rightful places. Gave the subtle affairs and big affairs an amazing orderly system and a firm association. Gave everything that is sought after and the goals a means or cause, and a path that will lead to it. And due to this results and outcomes are based on the strength or weakness of the means or causes, and the strength or weakness of the performer of the deed and then they bound these means. Paths and outcomes to Allah's Qadr wal Qadr. Their knowledge would have been perfected and they would have acquired of certainty, that which cannot be acquired by those who have not reached their level. But they are glad, and proud, with that which they know of those paths whose tangible worldly outcomes they know and became haughty by way of them. So the statement of Allah, the Most High, apply to them. Then when their messengers came to them with clear proofs, they were glad, and proud, with that which they had of the knowledge, of worldly things. And that at which they used to mock, surrounded them, i.e. the punishment. Surah Gaffer. Ayah 83. When their messengers brought clear proofs and great miracles to them, they denied them and were happy with the knowledge they had that contradicted whatever their messengers came with. So the very punishment they would mock when warned of by their messengers, came upon them. Then, when they saw my punishment they began confessing, at a time when no confession would benefit them, saying, We bring faith upon Allah alone. And reject whatever partners and idols we would worship instead of him. So their bringing faith upon seeing the punishment descending upon them, did not benefit them. This is the way of Allah that has been consistent among his servants, that their bringing faith upon seeing the punishment is of no use. The disbelievers doomed themselves at the time when the punishment descended. By having put themselves in a place of destruction because of their disbelief in Allah and not repenting from it before seeing the punishment. Gaffer 83-85 Allah said And indeed we had firmly established them with that wherewith we have not established you. And we had assigned them the faculties of hearing, ears, seeing, eyes, and hearts, but their hearing, ears, seeing, eyes. And their hearts availed them nothing since they used to deny the ayat, Allah's prophets and their prophethood, proofs, evidences, verses, signs, revelations, etc., of Allah. And they were completely encircled by that which they used to mock at. Surah al Ayah 26 And I granted the people of Hud the means of establishment which I have not given you, and I gave them hearing to hear with, vision to see with and hearts to understand with. But their hearing did not benefit them at all, nor did their vision or intellects. They did not repel Allah's punishment from them when it came to them, as they used to disbelieve in Allah's signs. And the punishment which they used to mock and which their prophet Hud, peace be upon him, used to warn them of befell them. Alakaf 26 This is the greatest evil consequence of self-amazement and arrogance without exception, and the most perilous path through which many people become beguiled and deceived. Therefore we ask Allah to bless us with sound knowledge that is supported by sound intellect. Divine text and sound natural disposition, the beneficial knowledge which the servant knows in all its aspects. And the knowledge which links the subsidiary affairs to its sound, fundamental principles, and its means, causes, effects and outcomes are ascribed to the one who originated and created them. It is the knowledge whose possessor does not disassociate the creation from its creator neither, disassociates its effects from the one who made them effective, nor disassociates the wisdom. 
the secrets and the amazing orderly systems in the creation from the one who created and perfected them, organized them in perfect order and brought them into existence prior to their non-existence. This is the knowledge that bears the fruits of certainty and through which tranquility is obtained, and through which happiness and success is attained. It bears the fruits of beautiful manners and righteous deeds, beneficial to the religious and worldly affairs. An excerpt from Adalayel al Karenia fi Anil Ulum Walaymal Nafi. Ah. Uh. Alice Ria Dakalayton fid Deen al Islami. Pages 37 to 40. Indeed, this is what has afflicted many of the atheists in our era arrogance and blindness. In our era, we hear them parroting the term natural disaster, whilst seeking to remove events from the will of the Creator. Likewise, some of them think that if they know and can judge when earthquakes are likely to occur, they will have more time to escape because they completely depend on the means at their disposal to avert causes, whilst ignoring the fact that the means, causes and effects are under the absolute control of Allah, the creator of all the means, causes and effects. Firstly, with regards to acquiring knowledge of things including knowledge regarding when earthquakes are likely to occur, then indeed they cannot acquire anything except by the will of Allah and that which he facilitates for them. Allah La ilaha illa huwa, none has the right to be worshipped, but he, the ever-living, the one who sustains and protects all that exists. Neither slumber, nor sleep overtake him. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on earth. Who is he that can intercede with him except with his permission? He knows what happens to them, his creatures, in this world, and what will happen to them in the hereafter. And they will never compass anything of his knowledge except that which he wills. His course he extends over the heavens and the earth, and he feels no fatigue in guarding and preserving them. And he is the Most High, the Most Great. Al-Baqarah. Ayah 255. Allah is the one who alone deserves to be worshipped. He is the one who lives perfectly without any death or deficiency. He exists by himself and is not in need of any of his creation. The creation only exists through him and is always in need of him. Drowsiness or sleep does not come upon him due to the perfection of his life and existence. He alone controls the heavens and the earth. No one can intercede before him without his acceptance and permission. He knows what has happened in the past and what will happen in the future. The creation has no share in his knowledge unless he wills to grant them some of it. His throne covers the vastness of the heavens and the earth. It is not difficult for him to preserve the heaven and the earth. He is high in his essence and attributes and great in his dominion and authority. Al-Baqarah 255 Listen to explanation of this ayah on this link by Sheikh Abu Ayyad, may Allah preserve him. Ponder. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on earth. Who is he that can intercede with him except with his permission? He knows what happens to them, his creatures, in this world, and what will happen to them in the hereafter. And they will never compass anything of his knowledge except that which he wills. Therefore, let us remind ourselves of a few, among many and verses regarding the knowledge of our Almighty Creator. Allah, the Exalted, said. Those who avoid great sins, see the Quran, verses, 6 colon 152, 153, and Alpha Wahish, illegal sexual intercourse, etc., except the small faults, verily, your Lord is of vast forgiveness. He knows you well when he created you from the earth, Adam, and when you were fetuses in your mother's wombs. So ascribe not purity to yourselves. He knows best him who fears Allah and keep his duty to him, i.e., those who are pious and Najm. Ayah 32 Those who stay away from major sins and evil wrongs, besides minor sins as these are forgiven by leaving out the major ones and by an abundance of good deeds. Your Lord, O Messenger, is of vast forgiveness. He forgives the sins of his servants when they repent from them. He, may he be glorified, knew best about their states and affairs when he created their father, Adam, from earth and when you were in the wombs of your mothers? being created in one form after another. Nothing of that is hidden from him. So do not claim purity for your souls by praising them and asserting their piety. He, may he be glorified, knows best about those who are mindful of him, by fulfilling his instructions and avoiding his prohibitions. And Najma 32 And Allah did create you, Adam from dust, then from nutfa, male and female discharge semen drops e, Adam's offspring, then he made you pairs, male and female. And no female conceives or gives birth, but with his knowledge. 
and no aged man is granted a length of life, nor is a part cut off from his life, or another man's life, but is in a book, Allah al mafisu surely, that is easy for Allah. al fatter Ayah 11. Allah is the one who created your father Adam from soil, then he created you from a sperm drop, then he made you men and women who marry one another. And no female conceives a fetus nor does she give birth except with his knowledge. And the lifespan of any of his creation is not increased nor is it decreased except that it is written in the preserved tablet. That which has been mentioned, namely creating you from soil, creating you in stages and writing your lifespans in the preserved tablet, is easy for Allah. al fatter 11 Whatever you, O Muhammad, may be doing, and whatever portion you may be reciting from the Quran, and whatever deed you, mankind, may be doing, good or evil, we are witness thereof. When you are doing it, and nothing is hidden from your Lord, so much as, the weight of an atom, or small ant, on the earth or in the heaven. Not what is less than that, or what is greater than that, but is written, in a clear record. Yunus. Ayah 61. You, O Messenger, do not get involved in any matter, nor do you recite any portion of the Quran, nor do you, O believers, do any action, except that I see you? I know about you when you act, and I hear you. The weight of an atom, in the sky or on earth, is not hidden from the knowledge of your Lord. Nor is there anything lesser or more in weight, except that it is recorded in a clear book that does not omit anything, no matter how small or big it may be. Eunice 61 And with him are the keys of the gabe, all that is hidden, none knows them, but he. And he knows whatever there is in, or on, the earth, and in the sea, not a leaf falls, but he knows it. There is not a grain in the darkness of the earth, nor anything fresh or dry, but is written in a clear record. It is he, who takes your souls by night, when you are asleep, and has knowledge of all that you have done by day. Then he raises, wakes, you up again that a term appointed, your life period, be fulfilled, then in the end unto him will be your return. Then he will inform you what you used to do. Al Anam. Ayat 59 60. The treasures of the Gabe are with Allah alone, no one besides him knows them. He knows all the created things in the land, such as animals, plants, and inanimate objects. He knows whatever animals or plants there are in the sea. No leaf falls in any place, nor is there any seed of grain hidden in the earth, nor anything moist or dry, except that it is recorded in a clear book which is the preserved tablet. Allah is the one who temporarily takes away your souls at night as you sleep, and he is the one who knows the actions you do during the day when you are awake. He then raises you in the day, after taking away your souls through sleep, so that you may carry out your tasks. This will continue until the fixed period of your lives, as known to Allah, is over. Then you will return to him alone when he will raise you on the day of rising. He will then tell you about what you used to do in the life of the world and will repay your actions. Al-Anam 59-60 O my son! If it be anything equal to the weight of a grain of mustard seed, and though it be in a rock, or in the heavens, or in the earth, Allah will bring it forth. Verily, Allah is subtle, in bringing out that grain, well aware, of its place. Surah Luqman. Ayah 16. O my son! Indeed, evil and good, no matter how small, even if they equal to the weight of a mustard seed and are in the middle of a rock so no one is aware, or in any place in the heavens or earth. Allah will indeed, bring them on the day of judgment and requite the servant for them. Allah is the most subtle, whose knowledge encompasses all secret and hidden matters. He is kind to his servants and aware of everything. Luqman, 16 He knows that which goes into the earth and that which comes forth from it, and that which descend from the heaven and that which ascends to it. And he is the most merciful, the oft forgiving. Those who disbelieve say, the hour will not come to us. Say. Yes, by my Lord, it will come to you. Allah, he is, the all-knower of the unseen, not even the weight of an atom, or a small ant, or less than that, or greater. Escapes from his knowledge in the heavens, or in the earth, but it is in a clear book, Allah al mafis Surah Sabah. Ayayat 2-3. He knows everything that enters the earth, i.e., water, seeds, and minerals, he knows whatever comes out of it, i.e., plants, etc. He knows whatever descends from the heavens i.e. rain, angels and sustenance, and he knows whatever ascends to the heavens i.e. angels, the deeds of his servants and their souls.
He is merciful to his believing servants and forgiving of the sins of whoever repents to him. Those who disbelieved in Allah said, The hour will never come to us. O Messenger! Say to them, No, by Allah, the very hour that you reject will definitely come to you, but its time is only known to Allah. He and may he be glorified, is the knower of whatever is hidden such as the hour, even the equivalent of the smallest ant is not hidden from his knowledge. Nor anything smaller than that in the heavens, or on earth or larger, except that it is recorded in a clear book. Which is the preserved tablet in which everything that is to happen until the day of judgment is recorded. Saba 2-3 He it is who created the heavens and the earth in six days, and then Istawa rose over the throne, in a manner that suits his majesty. He knows what goes into the earth and what comes forth from it, what descends from the heaven and what ascends thereto. And he is with you, by his knowledge, wheresoever you may be. And Allah is the all-seer of what you do. His is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. And to Allah return all the matters, for decision. He merges night into day, i.e., the decrease in the hours of the night is added into the hours of the day. And merges day into night, i.e., the decrease in the hours of the day is added into the hours of the night, and he has full knowledge of whatsoever is in the breasts. Al-Hadid 4 He is the one who created the heavens and the earth in six days, starting from Sunday and finishing on Friday. Yet he is capable of having created them in less than the duration of the blinking of an eye. He then rose over his throne as befits him, may he be glorified. He knows everything that enters the earth, i.e., every drop of rain and every seed etc. He knows everything that emerges from it, i.e., every shoot, mineral etc. He knows everything that descends from the sky, i.e., rain, revelation etc. And he knows everything that ascends to it, i.e., angels, souls and deeds of the servants etc. And he is with you wherever you are O people, in terms of his knowledge. Nothing is hidden from him and he sees everything you do. None of your actions are hidden from him, and he will requite you for them. Al-Hadid 4 Have you not seen that Allah knows whatsoever is in the heavens and whatsoever is on the earth? There is no Najwa, secret council, of three, but he is their fourth, with his knowledge, while he himself is over the throne, over the seventh heaven. Nor of five, but he is their sixth, with his knowledge, not of less than that or more, but he is with them, with his knowledge, wheresoever they may be. And afterwards on the day of resurrection, he will inform them of what they did. Verily, Allah is the all-knower of everything. Al-Mujadillah. Ayah 7. O Messenger! Do you not see that Allah knows everything that is in the heavens and everything on earth, nothing within them is hidden from him? No three people talk among themselves except that Allah, may he be glorified, is the fourth among them through his knowledge. Nor do five people talk among themselves except that he may he be glorified is the sixth among them through his knowledge. Nor any less or any more than these numbers, except that Allah is with them through his knowledge wherever they may be. No speech of theirs remains hidden from him, he will then inform them of their actions on the day of judgment. Indeed, he knows everything, nothing is hidden from him. Al-Mujadillah 7